16 subscribers. That's more subscribers than I have fingers. Wow. I have no idea what I'm going to do for this video. <coughs> but just wow. I cannot thank you guys enough for everything you've done. You guys change who I am. I'm just a kid that's sitting at a computer making videos. You guys are the people that matter to me the most. Well, besides my family. <coughs> but, when, when somebody takes the time to go to my channel and hit the subscribe button, that is where you touch me the most because I don't ex I don't think of myself to be popular. I don't think of myself to be a big YouTuber at all. I just think I just do this to have fun. I do this because it's what I like to do and I want to do it. <coughs> and you guys are making it very very enjoyable for me. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. You change my YouTube experience. I think what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to explain my YouTube history and how I get how I got started on YouTube really. But to do that, I kind of have to give you my life story. So it's almost like my life story and my YouTube story. I'm not going to do... I might do a draw my life, but I don't want to do a draw my life in this video. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So, I was born on May 27th, 2001, in New England. I was born in Rhode Island, the state of Rhode Island in the U.S. It's the smallest state, so it's not like it's something big like California where I live. Because where I live is just a little town. Um, I was um, born with asthma as a child because what happened was they couldn't get me out of my mom's stomach because I, being the wiggle worm that I was, managed to wrap my umbilical cord around my feet, and whenever I would come, I would come out, I would just go back in like a slingshot. My mom said. So, yeah, I was, and they, um, kept me in too long, and I ended up swallowing the meconium, which is the baby's first poop, and that's not good, because it's not, like, a regular, like, feces, it's, like, all, like, bad stuff, like, iron and junk and nasty, so you don't want to do that, and that's what I ended up in swallowing, so I was born with asthma. So, fast forward to when I'm about nine years old. Um, I'm nine years old, and I get, for Christmas, a laptop. It's an Acer laptop, so, so it was a nice laptop then. And I was, I liked it a lot. So, what I did with it was, I made videos on a YouTube channel that's very, very old to this day. Still up, um... I'm gonna let you guys do that research and you guys can find it if you want. And, um, yeah, I made videos on games, like, that I had for my GameCube. <laughs> I had a GameCube. I did, um, Mario Kart, Double Dash. Those were the videos that I made. Um, the setup that I had was I had, like, a little table that you would, like, eat on for, like, a living room. And I would put the laptop on it and put it point it at my little box TV. That's what I would do. And it was very, very stupid, but it was what I did. And then I gave up that YouTube channel. Later on, about a, uh, 
about 30, no, I almost just said 30 years. Yes, 30 years later, no. Um, about half a year later, um, I made a collab channel with one of my friends on a game called Roblox, which I loved at the time, because I was, a I was like 10, and I liked the game, and I made videos about Roblox on that channel, you can look that up if you want, um, but yeah, that was that channel, then I made, yeah, I have a lot of other channels, then in about, I want to say, alright, I'm in 8th grade, so, in about 2012, late 2012, I got a Minecraft account. And with that Minecraft account, I went on Minecraft. And I had my laptop then, so I would just go on a server that is somewhat of a well-known server, if you know James Rod, um, the yeah, what server. Um, I'll leave that IP down in the description. It's 1.7.10, I think. And I would get on that server, and I would use Skype, and I would talk to my friends over Skype with it. And this is how I met one of my best friends, James Rod. I was on the Yawat yeah server, and it was about, I think, I want to say it was like about noon, and there was this, no, 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 it wasn't noon, because it was later on in the day, I think it was like dinner time, 5 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, and I was, um, I was like, oh, hey, does anybody want to Skype? And there was this person in the game called Maggie2012, and he said, I'll Skype with you, so I added him, he weighs Sibolska 1994, I think that was his name, and it showed up as James Rod. So, I tried to call him instinctively, and... What ended up happening was it was late where he lived. It was about midnight because, as you guys know, he lives in Iceland. Um, the next day, I tried to call him up through Skype, and he said he was in a he was already in a Skype call. So I asked him to add me, and this is how I met not only James, but I also met three other of my friends on that server: Lee Sandu, Zach Watts, and Daniel Lacey and these were, and James Rod, and these were my four best friends at the time on Minecraft. And we were just having, like, the best times on it. It was probably the best. And what ended up happening was I ended up talking to James one day, and he said, oh, hey, I have a YouTube channel. You should check it out. It's James X Rod Videos. That's what it was called at the time. And I checked it out, and it was really cool. He had some videos up of Club Penguin, and that was pretty cool at the time. And I liked it, so I subscribed to him. This was before I was making videos. Now, in the summer of 2012 or 2000, I think it was 2012, um, he did, he was doing Pokemon card openings at the time, and I wasn't that into Pokemon, but I got a friend through my school named Russell, and he got me into Pokemon, and I really liked it. So, I thought that those videos were really cool. And, as you know, he really likes the Pokemon Celebi, and if you go back into his earlier videos, he actually got a Celebi EX card, which was very, very cool for him. And, then, Later on in the summer, we kind of got into a bit of a disagreement, and we kind of broke apart. Then, in 2013, I think it was, uh, my friend Lee from before, um, he got me back in, like, friend, this is James, and this is me, and we're not friends, and then this is Lee. He's like, hey, you guys, you guys should be friends, and then we were like, okay, and then we became friends, and... Then, that's when my YouTube really started, I guess you could say. N actually, no, it didn't, because then he was doing stuff, and I was doing stuff. I was, 
and then like it and then it kind of like I kind of like died off of Minecraft so then in like 2014 almost a year later um I made a video I made one of my first YouTube videos I believe it was um the uh it was like the Call of Duty stuff that I was doing at the time I was doing uh Call of Duty 4th of July special that's what I did and then that's what I did so later on after this like the late summer of 2014 um I'm in New Hampshire and I have my Xbox set up and I'm looking on YouTube and I look and I'm like oh hey I'm gonna go check out James channel but for some reason I couldn't find it so I just searched James Rod and then I got a video of him and then I went to his channel which was then called James Rod TV and I checked out some of the newer videos on his channel and I noticed he hadn't he hadn't had any recent activity so what I did was I got my tablet my nook and I got onto Skype and I called him and then when he picked up I was like hey um I've noticed you you have a lot of subscribers on your channel James well f well first I got I ca I caught up with him you know but I was like hey I noticed you had a uh, 300 subscribers on your channel and he was like what and I was like, yeah, I'm looking at your channel readings right now. You got 300 subscribers. And he was like, whoa, really? I was like, when are you going to post your next video? He's like, oh, well, I haven't really thought about posting lately, but um, I'm definitely going to post some more now. And I was like, oh, all right. So then, later on, I made another YouTube video called Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Funny Moments that I made with my cousin Cody. He's a meany face. But anyway, then time passed and James my friend gave me a shout out in one of his videos and I'm um, that's when my YouTube career kinda got started cause then I got from like two subscribers to five and that was a big milestone for me cause it was like midnight here and I just made a video for it and yeah that was that was pretty big still up it's like five subscribers yeah that's the title of it and um it's very very yeah. very stupid but um then the what I did for my um after I hit five then it kind of just kept building and then I was at like eight and then that then it kind of died down a little bit until about um until about the new year that's when I like went up and for some reason like new year's eve my thing glitched and it said i had 16 subscribers so that's why i have another 16 subscribers videos out that's like a month old that's why that's out but um yeah what ended up happening was when then i went back down to like 10 and then i was like oh you know i released that video for nothing but then this past month I've gone from like 10 to like 12 to 13 to 14 back down to 13 back down to 12 13 14 15 and then and now finally 16 subscribers and that's my sort of life story slash YouTube story I hope you guys enjoyed it I know that I'm gonna really enjoy putting out more videos for you this year it's gonna be an awesome year I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, just leave me down some suggestions on what to do. I'm going to be do releasing an EV video later. Maybe, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But this gonna, year's going to be awesome. I can't wait to experience it with you guys. Because it's going to be amazing. And I want you guys to enjoy it. And I want you guys to know that you guys are very, very, very important to what I do on YouTube. I will see you guys later, and as always, do not forget to keep on sizzling. Bye.